a few quick tips for those that want to be on a plant-based diet but are scared to make that jump but want all the health benefits. If you've been struggling with your weight or you just had bad health and you don't know why your liver is breaking down, your kidneys, or your, you have diabetes or dementia or any other disease you know, that could benefit from eating a plant-based diet, you just can't remember things, you know, your sugar is taking over your body, try the plant-based diet. Give it at least two weeks to try it. Basically, number one, at first you have to change your palate so once you start eating vegetables and fruits then you'll start to acquire a taste for it so one you want to start adding shakes so go to Facebook the 10 I think it's the 10 day green shake diet you can get into that group and start getting some shake good shake recipes so you can load them on the internet download them on the internet different shake ideas if you need some I can probably get you some if you contact me I can get you some also <clears throat> you can get the plant-based diet book for beginners off of amazon.com which will give you some information on how plant-based diets actually do provide protein okay so you can get more protein from like spinach and things like that some different vegetables than you can from meat because there are enzymes that meat that we do not absorb and your body does not absorb though you know because it just doesn't take in the enzymes because they have to break down the meat it takes so it's trying so hard to break down the meat it's not really absorbing all the protein that's in the meat so you're not really getting all the protein that it says is in the meat so you get it more from vegetables and things like that um, so in supplements so just have, think about that okay but you have to eat right you have to eat legumes beans um, different uh, vegetables that have protein uh, tofu and different things like that so the next thing is baby step yourself this is my last tip okay um, basically if you don't want to do everything at once you don't want to just go vegan right start vegetarian which means that you can still egg, eat, eggs, eat eggs and dairy and cheese Give yourself the ability to, or the, <laughs> just be able to eat those things, right? Um, allow yourself to eat those things. And then you can also eat fish. So things like fish, even eat fried fish, you know, bake is better, but don't even go there right now. You eat enough vegetables, which is going to decrease your food intake enough. Eat fish like once or twice a week or tuna. Tuna is a good thing. Even if you get the veggie sub from subway and then get the tuna or get one scoop instead of two scoops of tuna or whatever so try that don't just take out carbs all at once don't take out all the fish and dairy and all that give yourself that you know um one good thing is to buy a fresh big fresh bag of broccoli that can be found at walmart it's a big bag and you can just you know throw it you know in your pan a good thing to use is coconut oil which helps dementia and other diseases coconut oil um, instead of butter you can use that in your pan and then put your broccoli in mushrooms tofu onions green pepper if you want just mix any vegetables that you think will go together um, basically cook that with a top over and a little bit of water uh, it's gonna cook faster and it's gonna be better it's gonna be better tasting won't taste so green if you put a little water in there and cover it, it's going to take some of that green taste out. And then you want to season it like they do with Mongolian barbecue. They cook it and then you put your seasoning on. Like you can do a cumin, which is going to give it more of a chili taste to it, like chili. And then you can, if you want it hot, you can put like chili powder. But cumin has good character or attributes about it, whatever is good health benefits. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, put that on there. Um... Sea salt, use sea salt instead of lorries, or you can, I even use like a steak seasoning so it tastes a little bit like meat to me. I use steak seasoning, I do Montreal steak seasoning, and then after I put my seasonings on there, then I will apply like a teriyaki sauce, a good teriyaki sauce, and um, ginger, or some people don't like the ginger taste, so if you don't want to put the ginger in it, don't do that. But the teriyaki and garlic, like minced garlic in a jar so you don't have to cut it up and everything so um, put that on there for like maybe 10-15 seconds and put it on your plate maybe with some try quinoa instead of rice quinoa is gluten free 
So try that. And then when once you've done that, then you can take the you know the fish out once you're sure that you're getting all your vitamins, you're taking your supplements and you're eating your vegetables and you feel good working out on the vegetables and everything, your body feels good, then take the fish out and then take the um, dairy out if you can. I'm still eating eggs and cheese. Uh, I do drink almond silk milk instead of regular milk. It tastes better than milk. I don't like milk. Um, some people are lactose intolerant. And uh, anyway, my time's up. I have a pizza in the oven, and it's not the pizza that you're thinking about, okay? It's not fattening. I made it myself. I take a tortilla shell. I put tomato paste. My mom always told me to put tomato paste. We used to make it on bread, but I put it on tortilla. Tomato paste, oregano. And then you can put spinach or baby salad. And then you can put mozzarella cheese or you can use feta cheese if you don't want to use real cheese like mozzarella cheese. If you're trying to break yourself of regular cheese, you can put feta cheese on there or both. and uh, Or Parmesan cheese. And then you put like onions and green peppers on top. And you can put lemon pepper seasoning on, and seasoning on top if you want to give it a little that like a zesty taste or whatever and then put that in the oven for 12 minutes and you have a healthy pizza without the gluten and all that so all right that's my little tips for plant-based diet so far so if you need any more information on how to do a plant-based diet or recipes give me a message message me or email me at lonnyhadden at outlook.com or go to my website http colon double slash khadden one dot wixsite dot com or slash lonnie and co alright or see me on facebook i'm went live wednesday nights at 7 p.m. with videos on mostly relationships how to find your love of your life which i found the love of my life and also videos on health and relationships um, and life issues so that's wednesdays at 7 p.m. on facebook at under Lonnie Haddon, L-A-N-I, Haddon, H-A-D-D-E-N. All right, love you, bye. Okay, you thought I wasn't going to let you see my beautiful pizza. Here it is. It's wonderful. It's so tasty. It smells so good. Can you see it? Can you see the sauce? Oh, I don't want to spill it. The sauce, everything, so wonderful. It's so delicious. It smells so good. It's so delicious eating plant-based diets. It's just better than regular pizza without the guilt. You can eat it and feel good about it. It's like mostly vegetables. Like so much spinach and baby salad underneath the cheese. So like I said, I'm still eating cheese, but with the low calories I'm eating, I can eat cheese right now and still lose weight. Mmm, the onions are so good. And the thing about a plant-based diet, you have so much more energy. I was on a plant-based diet and then I went two weeks back on meat because I was told to try to eat meat because of the protein and stuff. You know, when you work out, they say, you know, you need protein to, for your muscles to regenerate and stuff. Well, I ate the meat, and then I noticed that when I got on the elliptical, I was sluggish. I couldn't really move. I was like, I think I did 10 minutes while I was usually doing 20 minutes on the elliptical. When I went back on a veggie diet for maybe just a week or a few days, I noticed a big difference. I got back on the elliptical and I did like 25 minutes. I did more than I was doing before just being on a plant-based diet. And when I went on meat for two weeks, I gained my 10 pounds back. So after I went on the plant-based diet again for two weeks, I lost the 10 pounds back. So now I'm not going back to meat. I can't risk going up on the scale anymore because I need to lose my weight so I can get off of this insulin. I'm already off the metformin. Four man got to get off that, that insulin you know the metformin didn't really do anything for my body it just made me sick so I got off of that and then like I said I went to the doctor today and he actually you know took, decreased my insulin he said I had low sodium not just regular sodium levels but low because I'm doing a plant-based diet so I'm not using all the lorries and bad seasonings you put you have to put on meat to make it taste good vegetables naturally just taste different and wonderful like each one has a different taste you know, chicken tastes the same. No matter how you cook it, it just tastes the same. You know, chicken is chicken. And most other meats taste like chicken except for like beef, you know, steak and stuff like that. But like you eat something else. Like you eat squirrel, it tastes like chicken or whatever. But um, anyway, 
that's plant-based diets it's really good it's really delicious gives you different foods you have so much more energy and you just have to try it you know just don't knock it till you try it you know live life abundantly god said live life and live life abundantly just do it all right